What's up? West Ham, you tuned in a lot today. What you about? Promise the great, the greatest of the greatest. Give you inspiration, courage, motivation, and dignity each and every day, each and every step of the way. Showing gratitude to divine source creator first. As always, did you see the light shine on me when I said that? Divine source creator first. As always, shout out to the element of fire, the burning desire. But also the day is Monday, moon day. So you might be on the emotional shift today. Everybody want to be the healer, but don't nobody want to be do the healing. I said, everybody want to be the healer, but don't nobody want to do the healing. I want to show you how to discern these fake gurus, Baba Lawa, ELO spiritual people that saying they carry a higher state of knowledge and they can help you. I want to show you how to see between the facade because you got people out here appearing to be something that they are not wearing the mask just to get the cash. Check this out. If you ain't sitting down with yourself, going inside of yourself, rewiring the thought pattern that no longer serves you day by day, step by step, bit by bit, not overnight, that's one thing that you can be able to tell right there whether a person is serious or not. And this is something that we do every day when you talk about healing, transformation, because this is an everyday process. So it's a non-stop. It's a continuation. Yeah, we pause a little bit. We still are free. But every day is healing when it comes to me. You understand that? If you ain't seeing a person go inside them emotions and releasing them hard wires entanglement, not only for childhood trauma, but carried on from the past life of yours that existed. But not only the past life and the childhood trauma of yours that exists, also the blood lineage, blood lineage of the ancestors as well. So you're not just healing you. Oh yeah, it goes way deeper. So you got to go untangle the hard wires inside of the mind and then tap into the hard wires inside of the body. Being alone, sitting with yourself, facing it head on and releasing it so you can move on. This come with now reconditioning yourself, retraining yourself the way you sleep now, the proper risk, knowing the importance of health is the true wealth, the way you eat now, you know, knowing the importance and the beneficial facts of electric food, fruits, kale, broccoli, spinach, leafy greens that make the heart green. You know, all type of things that can help us in a unique way. Not only the food. If a person ain't protecting their energetic field 24-7 and setting boundaries with themselves, meaning interacting with a whole bunch of chaos and negativity each and every step of the way, each and every step of the day, but out here persuading yourself to be a healer. See, healers know the importance of not who they are now, not where they come from, not the importance of just even healing them, but breaking the generational curse to heal the lineage of the bloodline with the ancestors and also healing humanity itself. And in order to do this, you have to focus on raising the frequency. I say you have to focus on 
raising the frequency at all times, protecting your energy at all costs. If you ain't seeing a person doing this work with they sell 24 seven, if you seeing it in your face, you know that, I mean, I apologize. If you seeing it in they face that something just ain't sitting right with them. See, the spirit never lies. Even for the people that try to disguise, can't hide. Cause it's always gonna show when the inner side is not being well respected and well taken care of, it gonna show on the outside, which will reflect who you truly are. So now for when you walk into a person or higher knowledge and higher countries as well, they can automatically tell whether you're a scrape of yourself or not. So if you a person that seeking spiritual counseling or help, and you go to a person, individual, and you see a certain expression on their face that just don't sit right with you, and you can tell that their expression is hiding something, you need to see that, well, this person might not be 100%, you know what I'm saying, equipped in this area with they sell. Depending on how people take emotions, watch when you speak to somebody, how are their communication skills? Are they communicable? Are they resistant? Are they the one that always trying to tell you something? You know, because if we ain't paying attention to these things, we'll always fall in the wrong hands of the wrong people. And we got to know this. So when you're talking about the spiritual path, it don't come by just reading these books and learning tarot cards and, and, and saying, I've been doing it for three, four years now. You know, I can help others. You do got information that can, you know, you can pass it on to others. But you can't consider yourself a healer yet because you ain't learned how to deal with your own energy yet. So even when you working with somebody else, you won't be able to discern whether this is your energy you projecting on them or whether it is their energy that's projecting on you. You see what I'm saying? So therefore, you interfering with what's really supposed to be going on because now you both keeping yourself at a stagnation and standstill place, which is not healthy for you. So it go deeper than just reading and learning, reading and reading and saying I'm learning and I'm learning. That's good and that's important, but when you go through the experience, it's way different. The book goes out the door. Why? Because nothing is set in stone. Ooh. So that means the way we've been doing things about this book, this so-called book that we've been doing it by, it's not our true authentic way. The true book is from the vine where it sits inside every time. And people are afraid to do that type of work. See, when you're talking about healing and transformation, it go way beyond this physical. And you got to sit down and be still enough to even give yourself the chance to do this. So notice what type of person you deal with each and every day, each and every step of the way. Because once again, everybody want to be the healer, but don't nobody want to do the healing sacrifice. I say everybody want to be the healer, but don't nobody want to do the healing sacrifice. And it ain't going to happen overnight. It ain't going to happen over a couple months. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. It ain't going to happen in the first year. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. It ain't going to happen in the first two years. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I've been on this journey eight years, literally. And it's a lot more I still will know because I'm willing. And I'm open and I'm not closed off with no information because I'm always open to see because I always know 
that there is more to know. The great out of here.